Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Rob coming back at you with another trailer review. Another trailer review for you, my friend. Um, this one, uh, I've been hearing good things about. Um, this particular trailer is for a movie that I'm uh, fans have been raving about, saying that the uh, it's very unique, probably one of the most unique horror movies that they've made in a while. Um, uh, actually has a vision, actually has something new to say, you know, new perspective. So I'm really interested to see the trailer for this one. I've been uh, hearing some good things about it. Uh, it's for a little movie called In a Violent Nature. Uh, In a Violent Nature. Now, with this particular uh, movie, like I said, I've been hearing a ton of fanfare about it. And um, it's another writer-director project. I feel like as I've been reviewing movies, these when whenever the person is the writer and the director, they just seem to knock it out of the park. It's like pretty cool that when you write it and you direct it, you can line your vision up and people, you know, give you your accolades for that. Like, I guess the vision and the story match much better whenever the writer and the director are the same uh, person. Uh, this particular writer director is named Chris Nash. He's a special effects guy. Uh, looks like he has a lot of credits uh, with doing special effects on a lot of different movies. Has some uh, dec uh, dec <laughs> directorial um, credits as well. Um, but for the most part, seems to be a younger, newer director. So once again, just another unique vision for a slasher movie coming from another uh, young blood, another young director. So um, what's going on in this particular movie? Well, with this particular movie, the synopsis simply reads uh an ambient horror slasher that methodically depicts an enigmatic resurrection rampage and retribution uh of an undead monster in a remote wilderness so yeah i believe this movie is actually being told from the perspective of the killer <laughs> which um it's not totally new if you ever see an old movie called maniac they did something like that uh similar you know where kills were from the perspective of the uh killer but um this may be a new take on it so i haven't watched this trailer yet but the trailer is um sort of i guess graphic because i had to put my date of birth and everything in in order to get it to even come up so if you're younger or whatever and you're running across this video please parental discretion is advised like i said i had to put my date of birth in to even watch this uh trailer so hey if you if you like violence i think this might be the trailer for you let's go ahead and uh cue it up here and take a look at a trailer for uh in a violent nature by the way it has a sundance credit looks like on the poster so people at sundance liked it and nature is unforgiving i guess is the uh catchphrase on the actual poster so you know gonna be interesting to see uh so let's go ahead and uh pull this trailer up and uh see what it has to offer we're gonna go ahead and share and take a look once again um this is something that required me to put my uh, age in. So parental discretion is advised. Go ahead, start this over. Sundance Award. Learn the daytime, huh? Okay, now it's night. There you go. ICF is knocking it out of the park this week, this year.
don't get too hung up on reason. They just keep killing. Oh, wow, that's not good. He won't be in part two. Ah. Okay, in theaters, May 31st. No after credits. Looks like Shudder has something to do it's with it. It's hard. Which I love. Shudder is just knocking it out of the park this year. Uh, ICF Films is knocking it out of the park this year. This is another uh, movie out of ICF Films who have done some great uh, horror movies already this year. Uh, Stop Motion, uh, Late Night with the Devil is actually out in theaters right now. I just reviewed uh, Humane, um, which is another sort of, you know, man versus man type, you know, conflict uh, thriller slash horror movie, I guess. And like I said, ICF just keeps uh, doing it up. This particular trailer, it feels low budget to me. Um, you know, it feels like those, you know, to be horror movies and stuff like that, that are kind of like a dime a dozen. It doesn't, you know, feel like it's, you know, a lot has been thrown into it. Um, the killer look, you know, fairly generic. You know, I've seen, you know, stuff like that in online videos, like, you know, other YouTubers or whatever, you know, doing prank videos or whatever. So um, it doesn't, you know, look terribly uh, unique or out of the box uh, for me personally. Um, but I don't know. I got to see it. Uh, there are other movies that had you know, unique perspectives and things of that nature. Um, uh, what was one of them? I think it was called Dead House or something like that with um, uh, my girl that was a Scarlet Witch. Uh, uh, it was basically a movie uh, done in one long hour and a half single no cut, you know, which was very unique. Um, at the time when I saw that movie, I was really impressed by it. You know, because it seems like you're watching a story from beginning to the end in one hour and a half. So I like movies that have like a unique vision or unique, you know, story like that. Um, I just recently call, uh, saw something called Deep House, uh, which is a, a ghost story horror movie that takes place underwater. You know, which was uh, very unique and uh, actually, you know, pretty scary. I'm surprised more people didn't like that movie, but uh, it's called Deep House. You can see that on like Amazon. Maybe I'll review the trailer for that. Um, but I like, you know, movies that come from a unique perspective. And it looks like with this particular movie, you're going to be, you know, following the Jason type uh, killer around and um, watch him do his business. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I don't the, the trailer didn't very much get me excited to see this you know i feel like it's very blair witch you know type budget but who knows maybe it could lead to a franchise where they do more of these um do you guys uh think you're gonna see it have you already seen it looks like it's not coming out until the end of may but once again it's uh in a violent nature um people are excited about it people are saying good things about it so maybe i'll check it out maybe i won't but this has been another trailer review from your boy rob coleman uh let me know if you uh, have any specific movies that you want me to review and hopefully you guys are enjoying the new format um, i'm still tweaking it so <laughs> please forgive any typos or anything like that because i'm still figuring this out but thank you very much for watching and i'll uh, see you in the next one <laughs>